in the last video we have seen what is mean by fluids in relative equilibrium and we have dealt with uh, uh, translation in this video we will see about rotation this rotation is also called as post vortex motion so if there is a cylinder like this and uh, the liquid is filled in this the liquid is filled in this and it is rotated with an angular velocity omega this is angular velocity with angular velocity omega then this liquid surface changes to this one so this is a parabola if it is viewed in 3d it is paraboloid so we are viewing the, viewing this in 2d so that uh, looks like a parabola actually it is a shape of paraboloid so what do we find in this uh, we will see uh, how much the height is raised and uh, different things we will see in this video first uh, let me write all the notations so this is initial one so this will be z and uh, this is z max and this is z minimum z minimum mm. so this was the notation that we used and uh, let me say for now we consider this point as the origin of the system and let me say this is x axis and this is y axis so i am considering this and i am considering a small particle here so there will be two forces that will be acting in this in translation there were mg and also ma that were acting on the particle here also due to uh, weight of the body there is mg and due to this rotation there will be uh, centrifugal force here centrifugal force is equal to m into x into omega square if if this is at a distance x from origin it is x uh, let me say as this is a cylindrical one let me say x is equal to r uh, for now assume it as x fc is equal to mx omega square this is centrifugal force so there are two forces acting so where will be this uh, normal reaction that will be acting if we draw a tangent if this is a tangent and perpendicular to the tangent will give us normal reaction so this is mg and this is mx omega square and this is normal reaction n and suppose that this is theta uh, so this is theta so that this will be also theta uh, now from this we can write tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent here what is opposite it is mx omega square centrifugal force divided by weight m gets cancelled and x into omega square divided by g is the tan theta we know that tan theta is equal to slope so tan theta is slope so what is the slope of this tangent the slope can be written as dy by dx dy by dx is equal to tan theta from this equation uh, from this differential equation if we integrate it if we integrate it we will be getting the equation of parabola equation of parabola so uh, dy by dx is equal to tan theta so dy by dx is equal to tan theta and tan theta is x into omega square by g ah uh, and now variable separable dy is equal to x into omega square by g dx so here if we integrate it integral dy is equal to omega square by g is constant integral x dx so it will be y is equal to uh, omega square into integration of x is x square by 2 square by 2g let's see 
so what is the value of this arbitrary constant i am saying this as origin so the coordinates are 0 comma 0 so at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and uh, if you substitute these values y is equal to 0 omega square into x is 0 by 2g plus c so c is equal to 0 so we have got c is equal to 0 and so y is equal to x square omega square divided by 2g so this is the equation of that parabola and uh, from this equation we can say that i have uh, said that uh, consider this x is equal to uh, x is equal to r as uh, this is a cylindrical one so i am writing this as x is equal to r square omega square by 2g here where is the maximum value that can be attained for this free surface here it will be maximum value so when x is equal to r and uh, this y is maximum so y reaches maximum and uh, let me say y max is equal to r square omega square divided by 2g r square omega square divided by 2g from this we can say this is origin from here to here this was y max but z max minus z minimum we have said that delta z so this can also be written as delta z so y max is equal to delta z and z max can also be written as z plus delta z by 2 and z minimum can also be written as z minus delta z by 2 what is it the initial uh, level of the surface is called z so these are the values we need to remember so now what is the volume of this paraboloid we have got this so what is the volume of this parabola that can be found out by this is delta z and this is z max this is z minimum volume of parabola is equal to half into volume of that cylinder half into volume of cylinder so half into what is the volume of cylinder there will be that uh, uh, cross sectional area if we look from the top that area is pi r square into this delta z gives us volume of that cylinder uh, half of the volume of cylinder gives us volume of parabola and uh, we will see about open cylinder and closed cylinder cases as we have seen in translation so firstly open cylinder open cylinder in, op in case of open cylinder the liquid may flow out if so this is if omega is acting if uh, it is increased the shape goes like this If omega gives a surface like this, if you increase omega, there is another surface, and if you again increase it, so this liquid will spill out of the cylinder. Uh, let me say this final value where it hits the top of the uh, boundary, if this height is h, so that omega star is the value for height h. If I increase omega value greater than omega, omega star, the liquid spills. So how to find uh, the amount of the volume of liquid that is spilled out of the cylinder when rotated. So similar formula is applied here also. 
volume of liquid spilled is equal to volume of liquid before minus volume of liquid after. It can also be written as volume of air after minus volume of air before. So due to the spilling of liquid outside, so the volume of air increased in the cylinder and uh, so it will be after minus before in case of volume of air. So that much amount of volume has been spilled outside. In case of closed cylinder, closed cylinder. Same analyzation is followed as in case of uh, that uh, translation. In case of closed cylinder, the the liquid may flow like this. So, what will be the forces on uh, top and bottom? That is a major concern. F top is equal to what? F bottom is equal to what? So, force on top surface and force on bottom surface. We need to find that. First, in order to find that, we have seen in translation that F top is equal to weight of liquid, weight of liquid spilled. If the container is open, if the uh, cylinder is open, how much liquid will flow out due to this angular velocity. So, uh, that is the F top and F bottom is equal to F top plus weight of fluid, weight of fluid in the cylinder, weight of fluid in cylinder gives us the force on the bottom surface. So how to find this F top, F top can be found by F top is equal to weight of the liquid spilled if open, if open uh, suppose V spilled is the volume of, sp uh, volume of liquid that may be spilled if it is open into specific weight, specific weight of the liquid gives us the force on the top surface. So this is how we need to analyze the problems of uh, liquids and relative equilibrium. We will see some problems in the next video about this translation and relation.